So do you have a kiddo who's interested in learning how to sew? Maybe you are not a sewer. And when you look at the investment between the machine and the materials and the time, you're thinking, is this even worth it? Or maybe you are a sewer and you're wondering if you really should be bringing your kids into your kind of like sacred sewing space. I totally get it. It can be really overwhelming, especially if you're just starting, but I can promise you that it is totally worth it. And I say that both as a sewing teacher and also as the mom of an eight year old and a six year old who love to sew. So today I wanna to talk about my top five reasons that kids should learn to sew. And these are just my top five, but we posted about this on Instagram a couple months back and there were so many responses. It was awesome and everybody kind of had their own point of view. So I would love it if you would leave a note in the comments and tell me why you think kids should learn how to sew. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Laura Kasowitz. I am the owner of Hartford Stitch. Since 2015, I have been teaching kids and adults to sew in my Hartford Stitch sewing school right outside Hartford, Connecticut. And now I can teach you through our video workshops, Kids Learn to Sew eCourse, and of course our YouTube tutorials. I believe that sewing is practical and creative and empowering. I also believe that there's not really a right way and a wrong way, but there are plenty of tips and tricks you can learn along the way to help you get better. Now we are in the studio right now and it is on a busy road. I moved to the front part of the studio because I usually film in the back part of the studio where it's a little bit quieter. Um, and now I'm kind of reminded why, because I think there might be like a dumpster being emptied over there and we may hear a siren going down here, but I guess that's kind of part of the real Hartford Stitch experience. So I apologize for the background noise. Um, hopefully people can keep quiet until I'm done with this. So like I said, I have been teaching sewing since 2015. And when I started, I knew without a doubt that I did not want to teach kids. My own two were quite small at the time. They were like two years old and an infant. And the idea of sitting a child at a sewing machine was a little bit terrifying. So I got started and I was teaching adults and that was working fine and adults wanted to learn to sew, but it turned out that parents really wanted their kids to learn how to sew. And when you're starting a new business, you kind of have to go where the interest is. And so next thing I knew, I was teaching kids classes. So what started as two kids has now turned into upwards of 40 kids a week in our after school and kid workshop programs. And I cannot imagine the studio any other way. I love teaching kids. I love teaching adults too. They really balance each other out and it's super fun to teach both of them. But kids bring this like creative energy to the studio and they're always so full of ideas and it's just really fun and such a great reminder that sewing can be playful and it really is a creative expression. That being said, creative expression does not even hit my top five reasons as to why kids should learn to sew because kids will find creative expression in anything. I mean, now we're going to start with the first reason, which is eye hand coordination and fine motor skills. Sewing is all about eye hand coordination and fine motor skills from drawing a straight line to cutting a straight line to pinching together fabric to put in a pin and of course sewing a straight line which is not only how do your hands work with what you're seeing but how fast is your foot pressing there is all sorts of things that you have to coordinate for that and it's funny because when our kids are babies we are so focused on eye hand coordination right like are they picking up the cheerios are they stacking the block and i don't know about you but by the time my kids got to elementary school that was like way in the back of my mind but it's definitely something that is still developing and still needs to be be practiced. Now onto reason number two, and that is real life math application. Sewing is math. There is just no way around that. It is geometry. It's algebra. It's measuring. It's fractions and decimals. I mean, really so many different math concepts get applied in class. And I love to tell this story that after college, I decided I was going to go to graduate school to become a social worker. And that didn't happen, but I did have to take the GRE. And part of the GRE is a math portion. And I was horrible at math. So I studied and I did like all the equations and I practiced and practiced. So I go into the math test and I sit down and you know, it's all computerized at this point. And I get to the word problem and it says something along the lines of you have three yards of fabric that is 45 inches wide and you want to make a quilt with 54 squares. How big is each piece of fabric so you don't have anything left over? So I threw out all of those official equations that I had been learning and I did my quilting math, my real life applied math in this GRE exam. And when I left, because it's automatically uh, scored, the proxy said, wow, you must really love math. You did really well. Math on a page is eh. 
for many people, myself included. Math in real life has a purpose and it helps us accomplish goals. Whether it's making the correct measurements so that we're sure the bag we're making is going to fit our laptop or sewing at the right seam allowance so we're sure that those pajama pants we're making are going to fit us or whether it's cutting up blocks to make a quilt and you wanna make sure that the block size is correct for the amount of fabric you have and the size quilt you want. And just like anything else, it takes practice, practice, and practice, and sewing absolutely gives you that. All right, and on to number three, which is problem solving. Here's another one of those things that has to be trained. So sewers have opportunities galore to practice that. Sometimes they sew something and they look at it and they say, that doesn't quite look right. So what do I have to do to fix it? Sometimes it's taking flat pieces of fabric and figuring out how you turn them into something like a hot air balloon. Sometimes it's looking at a machine that has thread jammed in it and wondering, all right, how does this thing work? What did I do wrong? What can I do to fix it? And if all of these problems are kind of making your head swim and overwhelming you as well, don't worry. That's what our video workshops are for. But just the act of problem solving and working through those issues is so very important for brain development and just life. I mean, who doesn't have problems that we have to come up with solutions for? All right, and on to number four. Do you like this little tour you're getting of our studio? <laughs> number four is that sewers become more connected to the fabric goods in their world. And what I mean by that is if you look around, you see so many things that are sewn, from your clothes to pillows to upholstery. All of those things were sewn by a person, not a robot, but a person sitting at a machine. And when students begin to realize that, when they sew a skirt and they realize the time that goes into it, the money that goes into it, the energy that goes into it, they start to develop an appreciation when they go to buy clothes. Now, I'm not going to say this happens to every student or that it even happens overnight, but I know that in my studio, we talk a lot about that when we sew clothes and about how our society looks at clothes being a little more disposable. And when you realize how much goes into it, like what's wrong with that mindset? It just shows them being more aware of what's around them and realizing that things they see at a store just don't appear for our consumption, right? That they come from somewhere that someone had to make it and it makes them feel a little more connected and a little more respectful of those items around them. All right, and number five is the one that is most important to me out of all of them, and that is that sewing is empowering. There is something about taking a pile of fabric and thread and your sewing machine or a needle and your skills, your hands, and turning it into something that you can wear, that you can put things into, that you can give to other people. I've taught about a thousand people between kids and adults, and I will never, ever, ever get tired of that look on someone's face, whether it's a child or an adult, when they finish their first project. It's just this expression of like wonder they're completely incredulous that they made this thing what you're watching is someone feeling empowered someone realizing that they have the abilities to do something that they weren't able to do maybe two hours beforehand and it really is amazing and then as your skills grow and you become more confident in what you can do and you realize I can make that outfit that I've always had in my head that I've never really been able to find in a store I can make something that I can give to other people when we do free sew days in class, which means that kids are kind of allowed to make whatever they want and not something just in the curriculum. I would say four out of five kids decide they are going to make a project to give to their parents, their sibling, or their teacher. There is something so empowering about knowing that you can make something that you can give to somebody else and that they will find it valuable. If there is one reason I love to teach sewing more than anything else, it is to watch kids and adults become confident in their skills and themselves through sewing. And again, I would love to hear why you think children or adults should learn how to sew so make sure you leave a note in the comment. And if you're ready to get started and you don't have any idea where to start, or maybe you do sew, but you're not quite sure how to teach it to your child, please check out our Kids Learn to Sew video e-course where we go through all of that. It's basically the first part of my after-school curriculum brought to you so that you and your family can learn to sew at home. So thanks so much for joining me. If you liked what you saw, please give a thumbs up, hit subscribe, because I have plenty of videos coming all about helping your kids learn how to sew. And if you're ready to watch more right now, you can check out this one or that one. Until next time, happy stitching.